Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Enzyme and in this video I will discuss the approach of this problem physical education le lesson from Code Forces round 924 Div 2 and actually I was not able to solve this problem during the contest but I found this problem quite interesting so I just wanted to share the approach. Now let's first read the problem statement. Uh, it in a well-known school, a physical education lesson took place. As usual, everyone was lined up and asked to settle in the first kth position. As is known that the setting in the first kth position occurs as follows. The first k people have numbers from 1 to k and then the next k minus 2 people have numbers from k minus 1 to uh, 2 and okay and so on. Uh, so I think uh, if you are here you must have already read the problem statement. So let's see the sample test case first. And actually what happened was when I uh, when I first tried this problem I was not able I, I misunderstood the problem. So let me just explain you with the help of sample test cases what this problem is actually saying. So if you uh, do not understand the problem uh, see this like okay uh, first we have two numbers let's say n equals to uh, 10 uh, and x equals to 2 right and we want to find the values of k that will satisfy our equation okay let's say we have this and say let's say for k equals to uh, let's say for k equals to 2 uh, I will have 1 2 3 uh, not uh, 1 again 2 1 2 1 2 so for numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so we have this and for k equals to 3 so in on 10 position I got the number 2 so 1 2 3 2 1 2 3 2 1 2 and for 3 also I got the 3 then you can try for k equals to 5 and k equals to 6 you will also get uh, 2 at the 10th position so we want to basically find out the number of k's for which I will get x at the nth position right so that is what the question is trying to say now let's try to solve this problem so I will discuss the approach now so we have the approach now okay so let's say you are given uh, you are only given n and x right and uh, for any number let's uh, let's try for, an, for let's try to learn this from an example let's say for k equals to 4 so first we have 1 2 3 4 3 2 and then we uh, we have a 1 again so uh, this uh, this whole thing will start again right so what numbers will uh, correspond to here so I can say the first number will get a 1 then 2 then 3 4 5 6 so the sixth number will get a 2 and the seventh number will again start from one first position again so 6 uh, 7 8 9 10 11 12 then the thirteenth number will all, all, always have a then the thirteenth number will have a 1 again then 14 then 15 16 17 18 and so on okay so we have uh, a pattern like this and if you see uh, if you try to observe this this is an arithmetic progression so, uh, so the common difference is fixed this equals to 6 here also the difference is 6 and so on will repeat here also we have difference of 6 and 6 and this will repeat okay so the common difference of this arithmetic progression is going to be equals to 2k minus 2 okay and also uh, I mean I let's try to uh, write some cases for the sample input that was 10 comma 2 okay so let's say we have something like this uh, let's try for k equals to 5 so we have 1 2 3 4 5 4 uh, I mean not let's try for k equals to 3 instead I think uh, that will be more uh, appropriate for this uh, for k equals to 3 uh, let's say we have 1 2 3 2 1 2 3 2 1 2 3 2 1 so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay, so these are not required so we got a 10 here and for k equals to uh, I think 6 uh, let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 5 4 3 2 and the next number will be 1 but uh, that is on another segment okay so we have something like this now if you see like this is one segment this is one segment and this is another segment okay so this 2 is occurring at the start of the segment 
and for this six this two is occurring at the end of the segment by start and end i mean the let's say let's consider that till k this is the first half and this is the second half okay and there is also one thing to uh, observe here is that except one like this segment is going to repeat itself right so one occurs only once but all the numbers 2 3 and even 4 uh, not 4 but okay uh, i mean 1 and k occur only once okay so 1 and k occur only once but this one is in the start for, of the segment so it is very special except that 2 uh, occurs twice 3 also occurs twice right so i want to say that okay, all the numbers between uh, except for 1 and k occurs twice now let's try to uh, generalize this now let's say you have some n and x so basically the ap that is forming if you see from this for let's say for x for any x we generally have two two kinds of arithmetic progressions uh one is starting from x and one is starting from uh 2k minus x like 4 into 2 minus 2 4 into 2 minus 3 which is equals to 5 8 minus 3 is 5 Four into uh two, which is eight. Eight minus four is four itself. So I can consider this as two, but the that will be the same arithmetic progression. Okay. So I can say that for any uh n and x, I just have to check if my n is in this arithmetic progression x x plus d x plus two d and so on, or is it in this arithmetic progression progression two k minus x two k minus uh Ah, uh, 2k minus uh, x plus d, 2k minus x plus 2d, and so on. So I just need to check if my x is in one of these arithmetic progression. Ah, uh, if my n is in in one of these two arithmetic progression. So let's say this is my first first arithmetic progression, and let's say this is my second arithmetic progression. And let's first analyze the first first arithmetic progression. Okay. So first we have x, x plus d, x plus 2d. and so on and here my d is equals to 2k minus 2 and i want to check if my n can be in this uh, arithmetic progression so i can say x plus uh, some multiple of d times 2k minus 2 equals to n right from here i can say 2 times k minus 1 times m is equals to n minus x or maybe i can uh, make this into one thing okay so from here i can say that uh, if i iterate in all the even factors of this number like I, if you are here i think you already know about how to uh, i mean there is a prerequisite that you should know about how to iterate over the factors so in big o square root of n time you can iterate over the factors of n minus x okay and if you are iterating over the factors of x we will check if uh, this can be uh, let's say i get a factor that is even okay and now i can equate this to equals to 2 into k minus 1 okay <clears throat> and there is one more condition that let's say i if i have numbers from 1 2 3 4 till k then uh, k minus 1 Then k minus two till k minus uh, k uh, till three two one three two right. So obviously my x has to be less than equals to k, otherwise it will not lie in this segment, right? Uh, so that is one condition. Now let's go back. So from here I can say that if my f is equals to this number, then my k is equals to f by two plus one. and this k x should be less than equals to k so the condition here is that for every factor that is even and f by 2 plus 1 is greater than equals to x then i will do an answer plus plus so this will increase my count okay for this arithmetic progression let's also see for the second arithmetic progression that we had here uh not here uh, where did that go i think it was this slide yeah for the for the uh, second arithmetic progression that when we have uh, x from the end side so if we have x from the end side what i can say is uh, 
uh, let's take a new page so my arithmetic progression is going from 2k minus x 2k minus x plus d and so on right so we have 2k minus x plus d into uh, the common difference times m is equals to what n from here i can say 2k plus d into m is equals to n plus x and since 2k plus uh, d was 2k minus 2 times m is equals to n plus x and from here uh, can i take something common like i can send this to here uh, maybe uh, just maybe I can do a minus 2 here and a plus 2 here and then I will to take 2k minus 2 common so this will become 2k minus 2 so I can take 2k minus 2 common and uh, it will become m plus 1 equals to n plus x plus 2 right so now uh, from this equation what I can do is I can traverse in all the even factors of n plus x plus 2 okay uh, all in the all uh, in all the even factors of n plus x plus 2 and now uh, my k will become f uh, so if I have this as my f so my k will simply become f plus 2 by 2 right and this k should be greater than equals to x now <clears throat> now there is another thing that okay this is one thing that uh, x should be le less than equals to this but i also want my x to want my x to be in the later part of the series so for here i can say x plus one equals to this and uh, by this uh, and from this i will be able to say x less than equals to f upon two okay so I hope you get the approach now. Let's try to code this up very quickly. So I will create a new file and let's say cp template and first we have n comma x. Let's take the input map and input dot split. Now first I have something called let's first store the answer as answer equals to zero and let's have the value n minus x. Now from the equation now from the equation that we proved here uh, let's say uh, from this equation I can say first of all I have to traverse in the factors of n minus x and that I can do in square root of n time right for n range uh, value plus 1 uh, what uh, if i times i is greater than value then simply break out of this loop okay now if uh, uh, value mod i equals to equals 0 uh, if this is the case and one more case and uh, okay let's not say and if this is the case then first I have to consider this factor factor equals to i then uh, then what uh, then if this factor mod i uh, mod 2 equals equals 0 so the factor is even uh, and so the factor is even and there the other case is if f by 2 plus 1 uh, so if x is less than equals to f by 2 plus 1 uh, so x is less than equals to f uh, f by 2 plus 1 so i think this should uh, if this is the case then i can say answer plus equals to 1 uh, similarly uh, i can do it for the other factor so i can say if uh, uh, i not equals to the value by i uh, my factor becomes the other factor uh, f is equals to value by i okay so this is the code and now uh, i have to say if my uh, x not equals to uh, x equals equals 1 because x uh, because for x equal to 1 we only have one arithmetic progression that is this one uh, so i can say print answer and return otherwise i have to set new value value is equals to n plus x plus 2 and do this whole thing again for that value and then i can print the answer 
ओके वी आर गेटिंग सम रॉन्ग आंसर्स लेट सी वाई डेट इज हैपनिंग या आई फॉगॉट टू चेंज द वैल्यूज सो दिस विल बिकम एफ बाई टू एंड एफ बाई टू एंड नाउ वी आर गेटिंग अ रॉन्ग आंसर ऑन दिस टेस्ट केस वी हैव सेवेंटी फोर एंड सिक्स लेट मी जस्ट चेक वॉट इज रॉन्ग विद द कोड वैल्यू ऑफ आई इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो एफ मोर टू इक्वल्स टू जीरो आई थिंक आई डेड अ मिस्टेक वेल एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द अप्रोच द मिस्टेक इज वेरी सिंपल इट इज दैट आई डेड अ माइनस टू हियर सो दिस दिस साइन दिस साइन शुड ऑल्सो बी अ माइनस एंड नॉट अ प्लस साइन सो बेसिकली इट वॉज दिस वॉज इक्वल्स टू एन प्लस एक्स माइनस टू एंड नॉट प्लस टू एंड नॉ इफ आई रन दिस इट विल बिकम इट विल गेव यू अ करेक्ट आंसर लेट्स ट्राई टू सबमिट दिस एंड सी इफ इट वर्क so submit code and uh, this solution is for c problem so our solution got accepted and i hope you were able to understand the solution if you did kindly like this video subscribe to the channel i will see you guys next time thank you